that's it. That's the intro. Yo, what is up guys? Part of something here. If you guys do enjoy anything in this video, definitely make sure to leave a like below. If you guys think that I missed anything, leave a comment as well. And if you guys have been enjoying the content and this is your third or fourth video, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. That being said, today I wanted to talk to you guys about graphics cards. As you guys know, we did get the 12, uh, sorry, the 0.12.10 uh, release update yesterday because i am recording this obviously the day of which is the 30th but you're going to see this on the 31st you can see now that they require a wrench a ratchet sorry <laughs> a ratchet wrench ratchet wrench um for this now that being said i do not believe i mean obviously these are new i don't believe that these are going to stay this value per se but they are definitely trying to make people kind of slow down on how quickly they can really produce those bitcoins and i think this kind of leads us on to something else they've also changed the craft to 90 hours um so that being said this kind of leads us on to what they're going to probably do in the future uh, i do believe that gpus probably in later updates will possibly get a nerf and be a lot harder to find um, obviously we've already seen that nerf with i think it was 12.7 wipe is when we really stopped or maybe it was 12.6 update where we stopped seeing the graphic cards within the actual computers themselves on a pretty regular basis so you could search 50 computers before 12.6 and you'll know, probably find you know two or three, I mean, maybe even four graphics cards. Now, very, very, very rare. I've only found one this entire wipe. So for me, that being said, I think that they are probably, before they start making it so that the um, graphics cards have a certain amount of uses on them, I believe that more than likely, they will just start making them harder to find and harder to craft. So for the most part, just to kind of get you guys in the headspace of how long it's really going to take to get this. So, you know, say you don't want to spend this and you're actually going to craft it. This would take, uh, you know, about two and a half days, we'll say just, you know, quick math there. And then this, I believe, is about three and a half days. So five, almost six days about to be able to produce this about six days to be able to produce one graphics card just one that's six days so six and do you know six times 50 six times 50 is 300 300 days almost a year to craft a full mining rig for graphics cards so i think overall we probably would see maybe a reduction in this but we kind of really have to see in the next few days how much and how hard that this really is to find so right now obviously they're expensive because you know if you want to craft a graphics card you're going to need that and it's it's a new item I mean, graphics cards just keep going up in price. I'm going to buy another two. Um, and that's kind of where we're at right now, unfortunately. But that being said, I think overall we're probably just going to see a shift in the overall um, amount that we find them before we really see a integration of, hey, you know, this graphics card, you know, breaks after X amount of uses. So um, Pastilli said like three uses per card and it would be, it wouldn't be, oh, you have 50 in here and they all get used one time when you produce a, a Bitcoin. It's one out of the three uses gets used per graphics card. So essentially with 50, you know, 50 times, oh, sorry, 50 times three, so 750 Bitcoin you would get pretty much out of that. So not bad. I kind of like Pastilli's idea. It's 
it's good and bad, but I definitely want to see what would happen rather than making it harder to produce graphics cards or make it so they have an, a certain amount of uses. Maybe we should start by making it so that Bitcoins have a set amount for their uh, you know, selling point. Because right now, this wipe kind of got ruined for me just because everybody's running like the best kit. So the dopamine as somebody, you know, myself with a, that's been diagnosed with ADHD, not that you guys care about that, but the dopamine hit is just not there for me. It's like, oh, I got to kill. I'm going to get the same kit regardless of who I kill, really. So for me... I don't feel that it's necessary for them to really limit the graphics cards or how quick you can craft them or how easy they are to craft. I think it more or less comes down to limiting the Bitcoins because right now Tarkov is not in a great state and I've kind of moved to um, a VR game called Onward and Pavlov. And although they're not, um, you know, survival esque stalker games like this uh it's just something different for me so i will also be covering those on the channel so if you did find uh you know find this video definitely if you want to see some vr gameplay hopefully this weekend i can get some of that up for you guys but i just wanted to cover the whole graphics card controversy and kind of why a lot of people are annoyed with it because everyone's just super rich and you're not getting a crazy amount of uh, variety when it comes to fights and kits that you get when you eliminate other pmcs but that's all for the talk if you feel like i missed anything definitely leave a comment below if you enjoyed the video and have your own takes definitely again leave a comment and a like and if this is your third or fourth video definitely press that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one